Hey, what's up everybody? This is my beginner's guide to arranging any song for piano. The emphasis is anime cause that's my main audience, but this should work for just about any song out there. So I'm going to be arranging a part of the chorus of Idol by Yosobi from Oshinoko. This method is going to work whether you want to play by ear or by using sheets, but I'm going to be using sheets cause I can't play by ear very well. Uh, this is how I usually do it, and it'll provide for some visuals for this video as well. And last quick disclaimer, this is just kind of how I think about it. Uh, I don't necessarily do this every single time I arrange, but it's intended as a guide for you to hopefully work off of as you're starting your arranging journey. Because <laughs> it's not like, you know, I'm super good at arranging or anything, so I'm learning like the rest of us. So here's what I figured out and what works for me. Step one is figuring out the melody. Here I've gone through and notated a melody, which is going to help me out for the later steps. Step two is going to be figuring out the chord progression. So here I've added them in as half notes to indicate where the chord changes are. The first two steps are probably the most annoying steps, uh, unless you have perfect pitch or really good ear training. This isn't an ear training video, but some things to make this easier are if you have good pitch recognition software, this might be a good time to use that. You can check and see if someone else has written an arrangement for this already and just pull the notes into chords from them. Some songs will have chords online, but they might be slightly off, so you have to double check. Not that everything has to be perfect, but just for accuracy's sake, so it doesn't sound weird. And if none of the above work, you might just have to sit down at the keyboard and kind of brute force it and see what sounds right when you play it alongside the original song. Playing the original song, if you're doing it off of YouTube at halftime speed, might be helpful for something like this. It's kind of tedious and kind of annoying, but I also have to do it for all my arrangements too, so we're all in the same boat. But once you have the basic skeleton of the song, then things get more fun. Step three for me is deciding on the feel, both of the overall song and the specific section that you're working on. Is it going to be big and grandiose? Is it going to be soft and tender? Are you sticking close to the original? Or are you really reinterpreting it? Deciding on the feel then leads naturally to step four, which is then arranging the left hand. I think starting off, arranging the left hand at least makes a little bit more sense to me because it first helps capture the feeling and the drive better than arranging the right hand does. Cause then like afterwards I get to just slot in the right hand where I feel like it needs to go. This is of course assuming that we're putting the melody in the right hand and the support in the left hand, which is how I you're probably gonna start. For some applications here, just playing the chords is fine. But if you're looking for a different feel, then using some other patterns might be helpful. I'm going to give you some examples, so feel free to try them out in different octaves and different variations uh, to fit your needs. The first one is just splitting the chords in the quarters for a bit more of a blocky moving feel. If you want something softer, playing the chords as broken eighths also sounds nice. For a bit more aggression or accenting, you can tremolo the chords as eights. Or you can just repeat the whole chord as eighth notes for an interesting feel. I'd recommend keeping it just to three notes per chord so it doesn't get too thick. For something more percussive, you can play beats one and three as a quarter to mimic the kick, and then play the top notes of the chords on beats two and four to mimic the snare. For a song where the chord changes every measure, then you can use the pattern covered in the short I did a while ago, uh, linked in the description. Of course, if you want it to be stronger and you're comfortable with doing jumps, then playing the quarters as octaves can give it that last piece of punch. These are all ideas, so feel free to mix and match. Actually, you definitely want to mix and match because doing the same thing for a whole song gets pretty boring pretty fast. So here's what I came up with after going through it myself. I'm going for a vibe that's pretty similar to the original. So the bass I'm building off of is the more percussive one, but here I added the repeated chords for the build. Here I'm using the straight quarters for just two beats as emphasis. Here there's an extra repeated note to give that section more drive. And here I just decided to have fun with it and play descending chromatic scale because the original song is fun like that. And I end with a broken chord into the held chord because I want it to end a bit softly. One thing to note, since I decided on a percussive feel, I'm making sure that I emphasize every chord change on beats one and three with the octave of the lowest note in the chord. So most of the time it's going to be the root of the chord, but sometimes it's the fifth of the chord or the third because the chord is inverted. If that didn't make sense to you, that's okay. Just play around with it, mix up the chord a little bit and see what feels and sounds right. Here's what it sounds like.
Now, step five is arranging the right hand, which has your melody. The first step is to choose the octave in which the melody is played in. So if I'm going for something softer, like in this example again, then maybe I want the melody closer to the left hand so that it feels a bit more contained. The common thing that a lot of people do is just play the entire melody as octaves, especially in the strong sections. This is certainly viable, but to me, it gets a bit boring and uninteresting. <laughs> And sometimes the songs are fast, so octaves get a bit tricky to play. If you do octaves, you can beef up the notes on the strong beats by playing the whole chord. This usually complements what the left hand is doing and helps the whole thing sound more full. A side note though, sometimes playing the whole four note chord gets a bit tricky and a bit tiring on the hand without actually adding that much to the music. So for both ergonomics and for simplicity, I'll just play either the third or fifth of the chord with the octave melody instead of the whole thing. Personally though, I like to try intervals, either a third or a sixth below the melody note. Even if it doesn't fit in the chord, I think it adds a bit of an interesting harmonic element to the song, uh, which is less fatiguing than hearing just one note octaved, and more interesting than just hearing the chord. And yes, of course, you can use intervals when playing softly as well, it's not just for the big sections. So here's what I got after I mixed and matched it to make it my own. I started the octaves to give the upbeat some oomph going into it. I emphasized the downbeat with the chord. Basically every jump to the higher E, I emphasized with the octave and not a chord because I want the E to sound clear and stand out every time. I use some intervals here because these measures are relatively less energetic, so I can tone it down a bit by not repeating the melody and by making it a bit more complex. I have the chords here, but without the melody doubled. And then in this measure, because of how strong it is, I play the melody as pure octaves and hammer in that last note with the chord. The last four measures follow roughly the same pattern with a few mix-ups here and there to keep it fresh, and I end with sixes to reach a softer ending that I'm looking for. And here's what it all sounds like. So hopefully that's a good introduction on how to arrange. I didn't really cover anything super virtuosic or adding embellishments or running 3N technique or anything like that. But I think if you have a solid base to work off of, you can play around and you can naturally start looking for places where you can add those sorts of things in. But if you're interested in a video covering those sorts of things in the future, or if you're interested in seeing me arrange a song from start to finish, let me know down in the comments below. Again, this is all just my methodology. I'm not some talented genius who can just sit down and like freestyle and play by ear and then it comes out amazing. Or even after a few repetitions, I actually really have to sit down and like really grind through each measure, like measure by measure and section by section to get it to sound the way that I want to. If this is interesting to you and has helped you out, consider supporting me on Ko-Fi. Listen to my new album that's out. And until next time, peace.